Hey y'all, welcome back to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery and happy new year everyone. I'm super excited to be back with more recipes for you guys for the new year. For this month of January, I decided we're gonna reel it in, okay? We were wowing a little bit during the holiday season eating all the sweets, but we are gonna go ahead and start doing some healthier options for the month of January, okay? We are starting off with this low carb keto option and these are keto chicken quesadillas. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we are starting off with our sauce. I'm making like an avocado crema type of situation, okay? Um, I'm using one whole avocado. I'm gonna also go in with the juice of half a lime just to help to keep the avocado from browning. And then I'm gonna go in with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, some minced jalapeno, and a generous uh, scoop of sour cream, okay? Now all of my exact measurements for this recipe are down in the description box below for you guys as per usual, all right? And yeah, we are gonna give this sauce a good mix after all of our ingredients are in the bowl and we are gonna uh, wrap it up and pop it in the fridge to chill while we prep our quesadillas. As you can see, I am mincing up my jalapenos with the seeds. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love spicy, okay? So I'm not afraid of the heat, but of course, if you don't want spicy, you could either leave the jalapeno out altogether or you could just remove the seeds, okay? It's totally up to you. And after combining all your ingredients, make sure to give it a taste just for seasoning purposes, okay? I tasted mine and I needed a little more salt. I also went in with a little more garlic powder and a little more lime juice as well, okay? So just taste it for seasoning and add whatever you think it needs. All right, so after I pop my dipping sauce in the fridge to chill, I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning my chicken, all right? Now, I have tons of seasonings here that I'm adding to this chicken. You do not have to go out and buy all these seasonings. If you don't have them, it is totally fine. Just buy some fajita seasoning mix, okay? Um, these are all the seasonings that are in fajita seasoning mix anyway. So, if you don't have all of them, don't sweat it, just get fajita seasoning. But anyways, we are just gonna stir this around, make sure our chicken is nicely coated in those seasonings. Then we're gonna head over to the stove to saute up this chicken, okay? Um, I sauteed this in batches just to be sure that the chicken got nice and brown and that it didn't really steam, but that it got like, you know, some good crispy edges on it as it cooked. So yeah, here I'm just showing you the final batch that I did. I'm just spreading all the chicken out in the pan, making sure they all have a good amount of space to just get nice and brown and crispy and delicious, okay? So we are gonna saute this up. After it is done, we're gonna remove it from the pan and we are gonna saute our onions and um, peppers in this pan as well, okay? Now, if you want, you don't have to use chicken for this recipe. You could use like ground beef or chorizo. You could use um, shredded pork, that would be super good in this. Or you could even keep it like veggie style and do like peppers and onions and mushrooms like you can really just have fun with this recipe okay your options are honestly endless so don't limit yourself okay i did chicken but have fun with it do what you want to do okay but here i'm just sauteing up my veggies i'm gonna go in with some salt pepper cumin and chili powder on my veggies as well um, like i said before if you don't have those seasonings that's fine you can just save a little bit of your fajita seasoning and sprinkle some of that on your peppers and onions as well okay so yeah we're just going to saute these up and then we're going to start assembling our quesadilla Okay. 
Okay, so as far as cook times, the chicken sauteed for a good 12 to 15 minutes on the stove over medium high heat. And for the vegeta veggies, I sauteed mine for about seven to 10 minutes, but that is just dependent on how, um, how crunchy or soft you prefer your veggies to be, okay? So just cook it according to how you like them. Okay, so while my veggies were sauteing, I actually went ahead and preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And now I'm lining my baking sheet with this parchment paper and I'm just gonna make a big round circle of cheese in the center of the parchment, okay? I'm using a mixture of mild cheddar and um, pepper jack cheese for this recipe today, but you can use whatever cheese you want, all right? I also used the block cheese and I shredded it myself um, just because I feel like it melts better. Um, but you could try it with the shredded cheese in the bag. I feel like that should work as well, okay? But anyways, um, after I made this round pile of cheese, I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes for it to get nice and melted and bubbly. And we're going to go ahead and start adding in the filling, okay? So I'm lining one side of the cheese circle with um, peppers and chicken and onions and all that good stuff and then we are going to go ahead and fold this over and get it back in the oven All right, so this part was actually rather tricky, okay? I had a lot of trouble doing this. Um, but as you can see, I just took one side of the parchment paper and pulled it over the other side of the quesadilla, and I kind of just used a spatula to kind of scrape down that other side of the cheese, if this is making any sense at all. <laughs> But yeah, I just folded it over like that and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about three to five minutes um, just so that it can get nice and melted together, okay? Um, this was, like I was saying, this was very tricky actually. I found the original recipe on Pinterest and they just made it seem so much easier than what it was, okay? This was actually my final attempt and thank God it came out decent so I could actually share the video with you guys. But yeah, this was um, rather tough, okay? So be prepared, you might struggle a little bit. I don't know if it's because I used um, the block cheese um, because it melts so well. I think that's why I had so much trouble. I think it would have gotten um, that crusty out, um, crusty exterior that I was looking for had I used um, the shredded cheese from the bag. But I don't know. I'm gonna try it again and we'll see what happens, okay? But anyways, this is it, you guys. Um, I just let this kind of set on the parchment paper for a good five to seven minutes and then I actually flipped it over onto a piece of paper towel because it was like super greasy from the cheese. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of drain off some of that grease. But now here I am just cutting it um, into four slices. And I'm gonna have my dad and my brother give this a try for you guys. This is actually really good. Um, this is definitely a lot of cheese, so it's not like the healthiest. So I do recommend sharing this, okay? But yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. I hope you all give it a try. Um, let me know in the uh, comments down below if you do, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye! Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And what is this called? Keto quesadilla. Who? Keto. Keto. So, like, people who are on the keto diet. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Different. Different. But it's good. It's got a nice taste to it. Che mm. uh, the chicken season good. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, cherry cheese and Monterey Jack cheese mixed together. Oh, that's just, it is pretty good. Yeah. Not bad, yeah. right? You need some sauce. You don't want to try the sauce? Mm -mm. <laughs> you need no sauce to get in the way. Oh, my gosh. Well, it is pretty good. Up. Thumbs up from Dad. Yeah. All right. Quentin was bold enough to try it with the sauce, so let us know, Quentin. like avocado lime. Reminds me of uh, Chipotle's guacamole. Oh, wow. So how do you like it then? This is good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>